we're going to do a view of the four energy rules with the uh, negatives. I've noticed from your work that you guys have the rules down, but when you put them all together, there's some confusion. So I want to just do a little chart and show you the four different ones. So the first one is adding. Adding, we might learn the song. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, take the sign of the larger one, and then you'll be exact. So same sign. What does the same sign mean? Same sign means that they are both positive or they're both negative. If they are both positive or both negative, we're gonna add them and keep the sign. So an example of that would be like negative three plus negative four. Negative three plus negative four, they're both negative. So I say three plus four is seven and I keep that negative. There's my example. Okay, different signs means we're gonna subtract and take the sign of the larger one. Take larger sign. So different sign, what does different signs mean? That means that one is positive and one is negative. So an example of that would be like three plus negative four. This is positive, this is negative, different signs. So we're gonna subtract negative four minus three is negative one. And there's my example for different signs. Okay, subtraction. For subtraction, you must make it addition. Every subtraction problem can become an addition problem. Let's get that over so you can see it. Every subtraction problem can become an addition problem. So first, you're going to leave the first number alone. That symbol means number. Then the negative or the minus becomes a plus and you change the sign of the second number. And then you just do the addition rules. So an example of that would be eight minus 12. So we keep the first number, we change the minus to a plus, and the 12 becomes a negative 12. At this point, the addition rules say they're different signs. This one's positive, this one's negative. So we subtract 12, take away eight is four, and 12 is bigger, so it's gonna be a negative four. There's an example for those. One more example here, seven minus negative two. Minus becomes a plus, the negative two becomes a positive two, seven plus two is nine. That's the second example. All right, for multiplying. Multiply, you can either have the time sign, the X, or sometimes I'll just do parentheses. All negatives need a friend is our number one rule. All negatives need a friend, which means if you have a negative times a positive, this negative does not have a friend, so your answer must be negative. Likewise, if you have a positive times a negative, this negative doesn't have a friend, so your answer must be negative. But if you have a negative times a negative, these two are friends, so your answer is positive. And a positive times a positive is, of course, a positive as well. Okay, an example that would be negative three times five. Three times five is 15. The negative needs a friend, so the answer is negative 15. Um, negative seven times negative two. Negative times negative is a positive 14. Because these two are friends, that's a positive thing. On the divide side, symbols that mean divide. You could have the divide division symbol like this. A slanty line or a horizontal line can all mean divide. For divide, it's the same rules as negative. All negatives need friends. Need a friend, which means 
a negative divided by a negative is a positive because these two are friends. Put a negative divided by a positive is a negative because this negative means a friend. And a positive divided by a negative equals a negative. And a positive divided by a positive is a positive. You'll notice I used all of the different division symbols there. I did not use the different division symbols to cause stress. Just recognize it could be written using any of those symbols. So example negative 12 divided by 3. That one needs a friend. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And we keep the negative. Um, negative 8 divided by negative 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. But because they're both negative, they're friends. So it doesn't need a friend over here. So we reviewed the four rules of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Chart so you can see the whole thing. And that's what you need to do today. Have a great day.